Hello everybody, my name is Brandon, this is Potty Mouth Sports, your spot for uncensored and unfiltered sports opinions. Today I'm coming with week 6 of No Cap Recap, where I recap all the major sports events and drama of the week. There's a little bit to go over, so let's not hesitate, we're going to dive right in and get all over this. So we'll start in the NBA, the conference finals are creeping up on us, there's only a couple games left of the second round or the semifinals. And the injuries have been piling up, surprisingly. Everyone's kind of banged up out there. Kyrie Irving, he is very questionable for the rest of the playoffs. James Harden was injured and then has came back. The Kyrie injury kind of forced him to come back. Injuries are pretty much inevitable at this point with an 82-game season and then 16-plus game playoff. You're going to battle through injury. You just got to battle through it if you want the chip. And the best man always comes out on top. So everyone kind of faces injuries. Everyone's kind of banged up. But the Milwaukee Bucks have forced a game seven against the Brooklyn Nets. That will be on Saturday. Tune into that. That's going to be very intense. And the Philadelphia 76ers face elimination against the Atlanta Hawks tonight in game six in Atlanta. And the Utah Jazz face elimination against the Los Angeles Clippers for Game 6 in Los Angeles. So those games are tonight. You're going to want to tune into those. They're going to be very intense. It just got announced a few hours ago. The Boston Celtics have traded Kemba Walker to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Moses Brown and a 2023 second round pick. I'm very intrigued on how the Boston Celtics are juggling their organization right now to compete for a playoff next year. They kind of get into the playoffs and then they get shunned out in the first round the last couple of years. It's not like the Boston Celtics, their dynasty. Danny Ainge has stepped aside and Brad Stevens has stepped up into Danny Ainge's role. So I'm interested to see who's going to be their new head coach how they juggle the roster to kind of support Jason Tatum and the rest of the young core for a solid playoff run. That brings us to the MLB. We are almost at the halfway point of the season. We're almost at the All-Star break. It's, I believe, a month or three weeks away. So very close to the halfway point. And there has been a lot of drama so far. I will say the bad news before the really bad news. The Pittsburgh Pirates have lost 10 games in a row. No surprise, really, they're a shitter organization in the MLB. But the Arizona Diamondbacks have lost 23 straight road games, which is an MLB record. How fucking bad can you be? I feel bad for Kettle Marte and Nick Ahmed and some of their actual good players. Expect them to be fucking traded at the uh, deadline, let me tell you that. And the big drama that's been going on in the MLB the last couple of weeks is pitchers using foreign substances like... Pine tar, spider tack, rosin and sunscreen, boiled down Coke or Pepsi, you name it. They're using it to get a better grip on the ball, to get more break, to get better spin rate on the ball. But the party has come to an end. The MLB is stepping in. They are starting to enforce rules on Monday for that. Basically, umpires are going to be checking like eight to ten times a game. Pitchers, gloves, uniform, everything to make sure they're not using foreign substances. They're handing out suspensions like candy, 10-game suspensions for anybody caught using a foreign substance. And I thought the best way to explain all this is to do a zoom in with the boys and basically cover this whole foreign substance debacle in the MLB. So on Monday, you're going to be getting zoom in with the boys episode 9 where we go over the whole spider tack and foreign substance drama and ordeal in the MLB. So tune into that. The National Football League, or the NFL, has been very quiet the last week. The only thing I can really report are key players holding out on mandatory minicamps, like Stephon Gilmore from the New England Patriots, Xavier Howard from the Miami Dolphins, and Aaron Rodgers from the Green Bay Packers, of course. Gilmore and Howard want a restructure on their contract. They have intention of staying with their teams. It's just a matter of restructuring the contracts like I know Xavier Howard signed a contract recently which was like worth 75 mil he's now the sixth highest paid cornerback in the league and he was one of the best cornerbacks of the league last year so he wants a little boost in the money 
And who fucking knows what Aaron Rodgers wants at this point. I am just waiting for somebody to pull the trigger on that situation and either trade him or him just show up to fucking camp and say, yeah, I'm playing this year. And last but not least, Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes are the cover athletes for Madden 22. EA Sports released a trailer where it's a barn door opening and then two goats walk out of it. I will probably go more in depth on the argument when we start covering the NFL here on Potty Mouse Sports, but to say Patrick Mahomes is a GOAT already, give me a fucking break. I know the guy's won one ring. He's very versatile as a quarterback. He's got an incredible arm on him. But to say he's a fucking GOAT, that's just kind of disrespectful to everybody who's actually put time in the league. Like, Patrick Mahomes has played, what, five years? Say he's a goat already. Kind of a fucking stretch, bud. How about you win a couple more rings and then we'll see what happens. But that has been week six of No Cap Recap, where I recap all of the major sports events and drama that goes on during the week. I appreciate all the support that the channel gets. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, subscribe down below, and comment. Let me know if my opinions are just out of this world, especially the Patrick Mahomes thing. I know that there's a lot of Patrick Mahomes fans and GOAT supporters out there, so let me know if you agree with that. And on Monday, you're going to get Zoom with the Boys, Episode 9, where we go over the foreign substance drama in the MLB. So tune into that, and last but not least, go fuck yourselves, everybody.